Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in with me, Rogue FPV, for another Walksnail Avatar Systems test. In this video, I'm testing how well the system performs with patches and third party tuned antennas. The test rig that I'm using for the Walksnail Avatar system is my Armitan Bobcat 4 inch with Gemfan Biblades and FPV cycle motors. This is my mini long range cruiser, so it's got GPS but I have the GPS disabled for these tests. In this first clip, we'll be using four Walksnail stubby antennas. All the tests were done on the same settings, 720p, 120 FPS, 50 megabit, 200 milliwatt, on beta firmware 27.32.10. In each test, two passes were made, and an overall average value was calculated for signal, delay, and bitrate based on the entire flight. 200 milliwatt was used to allow for enough power to compete with all the Wi-Fi radios in the area, while still low enough power to see a drop in the signal at close range behind the house. I have the real-time DVR stats down below, and I'll show the average at the end of the flight. Overall results will be at the end of the video, but please don't skip ahead. The footage you're looking at is 720p, 120 FPS DVR, not onboard recording. This is not meant to be a test to show how well or poorly the avatar system performs directly, but merely a test to see if any gains can be made by using other antennas or antenna configurations. This is not completely science based, but just my results based on my conditional environment. Your results may vary. The average signal was 2.85, average delay 36 milliseconds, and average bitrate 35 megabits per second. In this next clip, we'll be using four true RC stubbies. Again, I'm not trying to show how well the system performs here under any given power level. I'm trying to show if any gains can be made with different antennas that can be substantiated with data. Average signal was 2.92, average delay 30 milliseconds, average bitrate 36 megabits per second. In this clip, we'll be using two Walksnail stubbies and two Walksnail patches. Average signal 3.19, average delay 26 milliseconds, average bitrate 39 megabits per second. This clip is with two true RC stubbies and two walk snail patches. Average signal 3.60, average delay 34 milliseconds, average bitrate 40 megabits per second. This last clip is with two True RC stubbies and a True RC Xair dual patch.
Average signal, 3.66. Average delay, 31 milliseconds. Average bitrate, 45 megabits per second. As you can see, gains were made each time the antenna configuration was upgraded. You can draw your own conclusions from this, but my takeaway is that not all antennas are created or tuned equally, and a better antenna will give you better performance. You guys can learn more about the Waxnell Avatar system, or pick one up for yourself at the link below in the description. It really helps support my channel. Thanks again for watching. As always, if you found this content helpful, please like and subscribe for more. Please take a look at my other Waxnell Avatar videos, and also check out my Just the Tip series for other tips and tricks on how to make your FPV easier.